This is a daily energy, well, an energy check-in for the Twin Flame reading. For the Twin Flames. Twin Flame reading. What? For the Twin Flames. Energy check-in for the Twin Flames. Ooh, somebody's having isolating thoughts about Twin Flames here. So, energy check-in. What is happening in the Twin Flame community right now? What is going on? Energy is here. What is going on? Reunions? Wish fulfillment. Wow. Wow. Okay. Somebody's having strength, empowerment, empowering themselves here. Um, they could be dealing with someone who is controlling. This could be a fire sign. This could be a fire sign. Um, there could have been confusion, illusions about this connection at one point. Um, and that confusion could have been planted in this. Those seeds could have been planted in the spring. But fate interfered, right? Divine intervention happened. What was the confusion, illusions about? Wow. About self-love. Someone was confused about something in regards to their self-love. They had to release and surrender. They could have had to release a fire sign. Um, someone that had been controlling them. Yeah, had to have the courage to, to start something, to have a new beginning without this person. Um, why is divine fate, divine intervention here? Self-worth. Realizing your self-worth and what you expect from people here remembering things memories why is memories here having nostalgia over memories you could be getting messages in your dreams about someone wearing a false mask okay someone could have been wearing a false mask this fire sign could have been wearing a false mask um, renewal spark you're going through some kind of renewal within yourself. You're growing. Your spirit, spirituality is growing here. Um, masculine. <sighs> you could be a masculine that I'm talking to. You could be coming, um, becoming whole, right? Um, transcending. In regards to spirituality, wow, those are too many cards, Spirit. You're expressing some kind of truth now. What's the truth here? You could be an air sign. Yeah, you could be an air sign expressing your truth. Okay. To your feminine. <laughs> this also could be a feminine air sign. Um... You want to build a solid foundation structure here. You want to send this person messages. You want to talk about the fact that you guys are twin flames. Why do they want to talk about this? Because they're being guided to do so by their ancestors. Being guided to take a leap of faith. There's some kind of clarity around this. Oh, this involves an earth sign. An earth sign could have given clarity or this is clarity over an earth sign, about an earth sign. Um, you want to express an apology to an earth sign. You want forgiveness. You've been avoiding this and it's caused a stalemate in your coming together. Okay. It's caused a stalemate and you're coming together, okay? This was a toxic pattern. You had a lot of toxic patterns in this relationship, okay? Yep, and doubts and lack. But your spirit guides are assisting you in this. Assisting you to be present, abundant, grateful for what you have. OK, 
Okay, this has caused disharmony and conflict. Um, made you bring up wounds. Right? Made you bring up wounds that you were guarded over. It involved your past. Um, probably childhood wounds. Childhood trauma, probably. Um, also, yeah, involved other people. Okay. But this is your mission. This is your purpose here. Is to work through your shadow side. Okay. Could be going through a dark night of your soul. Dark night is the soul right now. Um, wish fulfillment. To get to your wish fulfillment here. What is this person's wish fulfillment here? Um, to plant something in the fall. Right? To plant something in the fall. But you feel you have guilt regarding this. Why? Why is there guilt around this? Um, because of a water sign. There's something about a water sign here. Um, there's guilt about a water that involves a water sign. Um, and you're resisting this. What are they resisting here? You keep having isolating thoughts about this. You have fears that are limiting you in regards to this. And there's deception here. Why is there deception here? What is the deception about? There's some kind of deception about this person being nurturing and compassionate. They actually make you feel fragmented okay is the word on the card but they make you feel like you're fucked up individual okay excuse my language but that's what came to mind that's that's what i thought okay this person makes you feel like you're a piece of shit okay they try to act like they're nurturing and compassionate but they make you feel like you're broken okay like you got issues yeah, you have to heal something within you. Healing your inner child. Um, there's something about healing your inner child. You're cold and, det and detached from this idea, though. Or because of the this trauma, you have became cold and detached, right? But karma's coming in to balance all this out. Karma is coming in, and they're going to blow all this shit up, and you're going to have to deal with it, whether you want to or not, okay? Because you already started your path. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but when you start on your path of, okay, like, um, before you become awakened, right? When you're just living in the matrix and you're unaware of what you're doing and you're just going to work every day and, you know, it almost feels like Groundhog Day, right? Like you get up, you go to work and it's the same thing, like, when that's the matrix okay that's programming you're just living your life and you're doing the same thing over and over and over like a puppet like a zombie okay once you come out of that and you start following your intuition and you start listening to god and praying and and really doing healing work and diving into your soul and going towards your mission okay there's no coming back you already took the pill it's done you cannot turn that off Okay, I know that from experience. I feel like someone is trying to do that. That's why I'm talking about it. Somebody has swallowed the pill and now they want to say, oh, I don't want, can you get this out of my blood now? You've already taken it. It's too late. <laughs> I feel like someone here doesn't want to be a divine masculine anymore. That's honestly what I feel like. Um, I feel like that because this divine masculine is trying to, or it could be a feminine, but they're trying to, I feel like this person is trying to live in the matrix again. Like they're trying to go back. They're like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. This is, this is too much. This is causing too much drama. Some of you could be having a lot of shit going on in your life. That's not working because you're not on your path. So your life is never going to be stable until you get back on your path. And now this person's like, oh, God, I don't want to do this anymore. Just let's go back. 
I want to go back into the matrix. You can't go back into the matrix. You can't. It's not going to work anymore. You're done. You have to go forward. And I think that's what your ancestors and your spirit guides are trying to show you that you can't go back and you have to do what you're, you're here to do. Okay? You're letting your pride and your ego get in the way of this. Okay? I saw this before. I think some of you have materialists. I think some of you are very materialistic. And I didn't... Um, I like you, you, you know, that could have been like what you did um, to uh, call it, create happiness for yourself before, but you can't do that anymore, right? Um, the universe isn't allowing you to do that. You have, they're telling you, you have to have the courage to change now. There's no going back. There's no going back. You already packed your bags and you walked out the house and you're going down the street. And it's like, I feel like. You packed your bags, you left, you're walking down the street, and you started, and you're like, okay, let's go. And then something happened, like a big dog came up with rabies at you, and you're like, oh, shit, I changed my mind. I don't want to do this. I want to go back in the house. And you start running back to the house. You can't do that. They're telling you you have to have the courage to keep going, and they're not going to allow you to run back. If you need to take a time out, take a time out, but you can't go back. You are going to have a complete rebirth in the winter time. Um, you could be investigating this or somebody could be watching you, watching this happen to you. Yeah, um, this person is marrying you. This is your twin. It could be your twin watching this happen. You guys have a hot attraction with each other. There is going to have some, there is going to be a, a, an epiphany. Okay, what's the epiphany? An epiphany and self-care is going to be around that epiphany. There's going to be an unexpected storm. Lead you to a crossroad here. A crossroad, I feel like a crossroad between two people. Chemistry, passion, that you have chemistry and passion with both of them. You're going to have to make a decision here. This is, they're telling you when this time comes, you need to remember your awakening. Remember, remember when you awakened what happened. There's an offer that's going to come in. And this is going to be cause for celebration, gifts, abundance. Contracts, career commitments. This could involve commitments. Um, and relationship, this could involve contracts with money. This could involve your career. Um, this could be all three, right? There's three things in this card. There's three things here. You could get all three of these things at one time, and they're telling you you need to remember your awakening when this happens. There's going to be some kind of reunion with someone that you have a soul tie with. They're going to activate your higher self. Trust this when this happens. This is divine timing. This was orchestrated. Okay. Um, this person could have a lot of regret or you can. You've repressed this regret. This does have something to do with the family, home, and commitment. You're clinging to a comfort zone regarding family, home, and commitment here. You're clinging to a comfort zone. You're clinging to some kind of comfort here. But you are transforming. Okay? You're transforming. You're completing cycles, um, karmic cycles. You're changing. You're morphing into a butterfly. Keep going. Be open to receiving stability and harmony. you have been in separation with this person and missing this person. Okay. <sighs> All right. That was for the twin flames. Okay. 
If you have any questions, my information is in the description box. Okay, if you have any personal questions and want to do a personal reading.